Hello everyone, I am Rod and I am the Game Design Instructor for the Academy of Entertainment Arts over at Dixie Hollins High School. If you are one of my students, it's Mr. Flowers to you, and welcome to this video tutorial. Hello everybody. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at inventory systems. Um, if you're in this right now, you're probably looking at the, uh, the old AI practice, as what we used in one of our previous tutorials. Uh, before we get started, I want to just make sure that you know that this is going to be a multi-part tutorial just because setting up an inventory system takes a bit of time and we're going to create a few of the assets as well as what um, as well as write some of the code and uh, of course get a lot of that set up so first part of this is going to be making the assets so go ahead and open up a sprite here and we're just going to add a new sprite now whenever you're setting up inventory items you're going to have two sprites you're going to have one uh, sprite that has the weapon that you're going to use or the item that you're going to use and then you're going to have the other sprite which is going to be your item list so what we're going to make here is just going to be the item list this is going to be um, what each item looks like when it's sitting in the inventory so I'm going to call this SPR underscore item list now I'm going to camel case so I'm going to do item and underscore or item and then this uh, middle letter here is going to be capital L list. You can, of course, you can do underscores or whatever you want to do. That's fine. And I'm going to make these a little bit smaller. Oops, wrong button. Um, right here under size. I'm going to make these a 32 by 32 this time. Let's hit apply. And the reason for that is it just, it'll just take up less uh, space in the inventory. And all I'm going to do in here is I'm going to assume that this is the border of my inventory, right? And I'm going to draw my items in here. So I'm going to have, uh, let's see, uh, two weapons and two uh, usable items. So if the first one, I'm going to do like a little potion bottle. So I'll go ahead and just make this and of course you can make whatever you want for your inventory items or you can do this in Photoshop it doesn't matter put a little sparkle gleam on here uh, what should I have in here some sort of elixir we'll fill this up oh it looks fine I think I'm going to replace the outer edge with a dark gray. Okay, and I'll do the light gray on that one. You don't have to be too picky. You can always do something with it later. And just for interesting measures here, I think I'll do... Uh, where's my eraser? I'll have a portion of this empty. And then maybe there's like little bubbles on it, just for like... There we go. Little potion bottle. I'll add a new frame. This one will be... I don't know, maybe a key or something. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I'll pick a 
slightly darker color and just to give some contrast. And there, I have like a key. Now let's make a new item. This will be I'll do like a sword. We all we always need a sword, so use that same color gold for the handle or the pummel, I guess. Oh. What's a good uh, color for like leather wrappings? I think that'll work. And of course we need a blade, so let's go ahead and put a blade on here. There's my sword or dagger, whatever it is. And next item on my list, this will be, how about a bow? So I need a good wood color. That's a good brown. Yeah, it'll work. And for the bow, I'm just going to do a, kind of like that. Oops. I want that to go all the way. Yeah, that's fine. Eraser. Let's do some decorating here just to make it look lively. And then of course I need a string because, well, you know, no bow would be complete without a string. Uh, what color should I use for string? How about a gray? Now, as you're setting these up, keep in mind that there will be a border on these items. So you don't want to go all the way to the top or the, to the bottom. You have a little bit of a space on there, which I should have done on my sword and my key. But you'll see why you want to keep a space. When we draw the border, we don't really want it to overlap. So on these ones, you'll end up seeing an overlap. Okay. So there's my... Uh, item list here. And I'm going to create a couple animations for my items just to have something. So if the sword, um, let's go ahead and make a new sprite here. So I'll do this as SPR underscore sword. And this is 64 by 64, which is fine because the real sword is going to be big enough for my player. To get a good measurement, my player is uh, 32 by 64, so my sword can be um, about as tall as he is, and not quite as wide. Uh, so I'll go down to my sword object here. I'm going to keep this as it is for now, um, and I'm just going to draw like an animation of some sort in here. 
And to save on time, I'm going to copy this sprite image. There we go. I'm going to draw the uh, center of this on the handle. About like that. And now I'll do the next item. So I'm going to do the bow. Do what I did before. I'm going to copy the first frame here. This will be SPR underscore bow. Paste in that frame. Now on this one I will have to do some animation, so I'm going to go in and I'll just add a couple frames here. So I redraw this as though it's being pulled. So there it is, normal, and then the pulled one. Whoops, wrong color. There's a very simple, there it is, regular, and then it's being animated. I'm going to zoom in and get this line just a little bit thicker. And then, of course, being stretched, and then, bing, two frames. Every bow needs an arrow, so I'm going to go ahead and add an arrow. I'm going to go to my sprite list here, and just to have an item that is pick upable, I'm going to go ahead and add a new frame, and this will be my arrow. Not the best area in the world, but it'll work. And I will copy that frame, and I'll make a sprite called arrow. Uh, SPR underscore arrow. Paste that in. And on the arrow, I think I'm going to have this, let's see where the bow is going to be. We never put it on the bow. The bow, we're going to center that, middle center. Oh, that should be good. We'll have the arrow, the head of the arrow line up with the uh, center of the bow here. So we'll do this, and 
I'm actually going to rotate this inside of the editor here. So let's see if we can do do rotate. That should be good. And I will put this about there. That way when this shoots, it'll start here. Okay, so we have some items here. And for, the, for this video, we're going to call it right here, just because we are at about 18 minutes in. And uh, in the next video, we're going to go over setting up the enumerator for this and then the, uh, the starting piece of code for uh, the, the inventory. Okay, and I'll see you guys in the next video.